Stanford University. For 18 months, I performed the most extensive study that's ever been performed on a human brain, on myself. Every Tuesday and Thursday morning, I got into an MRI scanner and had my brain scanned. And in the course of this study, we learned a lot, both about how my particular brain works, but also how brains work in general. The first thing that we discovered is that my brain looks really different depending on whether I've had coffee or not. The really surprising finding is that the parts of my brain that are involved in very basic functions like vision and movement were actually more connected to one another on those days when I was uncaffeinated. Um, we don't quite know what this means right now, but it's going to inspire a, a lot more research to try to understand how caffeine affects our brain function. Despite the fact that my brain changes from day to day, my mood changes, I have coffee, nonetheless the organization of my brain is remarkably stable over the course of that year and a half. What this tells us is that we can use this measurement um, to look at how the brain changes in people where we know there should be things changing over time, such as people with brain disorders. Our previous knowledge about human brain function largely came from studies of many different people where we only have a small amount of data on each person. With the amount of data that we have on me, we can see that there are very specific uh, features of my brain that are different from everyone else's. Um, and what this tells us is that we um, need to learn a lot more about how individual brains differ from one another. When we started this study, we hoped to learn a lot about how human brains change over time. And we did, but in the course of the study, we also learned that there are many more questions yet to be answered. Um, and what this tells us is that when it comes to understanding the brain, we've really just scratched the surface. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.